Hello and welcome back to What Grunts from Pixels. I'm Tor and I have Caleb here. And today our topic is going to be the worst items in video games. These are items that we find completely useless and have very stupid sort of effects or just like, why are they here? So, what I'm going to talk about is the potato in Killing Floor. But the potato is an item that you can buy for 70,000 pounds, which uh, is a lot of money. And according to its stats, it has these full, full stats, so it's supposed to be like the best thing ever they can get. But once you buy it, it's not actually an item you can use. It opens up a web browser in your Steam client, and you have to like put in a little password, which is uh, failed experiments for Aperture Science Blue. And it will download some stuff, and yeah, yeah all cool and things. Can't remember exactly what it downloaded, but oh well. But the thing is, it's still in the game, but you can't actually buy it, and you can't get the achievements for it. So that's like dumb. <laughs> It's just completely useless, and it's sitting there, and you're like, whoa, one day I'm going to save up enough money to actually buy it, and you never will. Hey guys, Caleb Picton here, and I'm going to be talking about the fire in Contra. Now, I know a lot of you are saying, that's not an item, that's an upgrade. Well, I don't care. Fire is useless in Contra. It's probably worse than your default gun, and to be honest, it is. It just fires in a squiggly line. But your gun fires forward, so it'll always, it's always a guaranteed hit. But the fire will be like, well, nope. And then, and then, yeah, you're screwed. Get the spread, not the fire. Fire is useless. All right, so now I'm going to be talking about Mr. Saturn from the Super Smash Bros. series. And well, Mr. Saturn is that little guy that sort of walks around that you can pick up and throw. Apparently, it's like the fan where you can just sort of like spam throw it. But I've found absolutely no use for it because most of the times whenever I throw it, it misses. If it hits someone, then it's not going to come right back to you. So I'm wondering, like, what is the real use? I don't think it'll do that much. Doesn't do that much percentage, and it's just like a filler, I guess, a filler item. Like that, we need something from next. Ne we need something to put in there. So. That's just a useless item, and I don't really understand why they have it in Super Smash Brothers, because it's pointless and useless. Heal Ball Pokemon sucks. You, you throw it, catch Pokemon, then it goes to your PC. But, as many of you may know, if a Pokemon goes to your PC, instant help. So you don't need a Heal Ball, but I guess it's helpful if you have an open slot in your Pokemon party, but why are you going to have an open slot when you get a Heal Ball? Like, you don't get a Heal Ball until like a little later on when you should already have a full party so why do you need a heal ball? Heal ball equals worse ball and that's what grinds my pixels like he is such an easy character to play and people play him all the time and it's annoying going up against them especially as a mix assassin you don't know how annoying it is because my stun doesn't hit him when he jumps at me. And it's dumb in the fact that he can go perma invisible and he has OP attacks and it's stupid. Like, don't play as Ricky. Go ahead, play as Ricky for the first time.